Hey, it's Christina with Kapwing, and I've got a tutorial on how to make a smaller video appear in the corner of a bigger video, like this, or this. <laughs> this technique is called picture in picture. It's good for reaction videos, it's good for tutorials, and I'm gonna show you how to do it really easily. My goal of this video is to give you some techniques to expand your creative potential, to give you even more ways to express yourself. So hit subscribe so I can keep giving you more videos. I'm gonna show you how to make a picture in a picture using free software. Just click on the link in the description and let's get started. So to start making your picture in picture video, head to kapwing.com. This is our online video editor. It's free to make videos up to seven minutes. And if you log in, there's no watermark on your final product. Let's hit start editing, blank canvas, go to upload right here in the corner, drag and drop your files. Okay, so let's resize this. I want it to be nine by 16 to match the way the footage was shot. Now you'll notice if you click in this gray area, you'll see your layers out here. So uh, if you have to reorder them, just click on the top one and say send backwards, bring forward. So for this example, I'm going to do a pretend reaction video. And we'll be reacting to this footage that I took in an actual Amsterdam bathroom at a hostel, or no, it's a very nice boutique hotel that I was staying at actually. And I couldn't figure out how to get into my shower. Here I am trying. I do not fit. I'm gonna do a reaction of myself watching this video. Um, and at the end, I'll tell you if I managed to get in, if I was ever able to shower on that trip. We need this footage to be behind the reaction footage. So I'm gonna say send backwards, and then this footage needs to be smaller. So I'm going to just resize it. If you say fill, that's going to crop the image to whatever little box size you make this. If you say lock ratio, it'll keep it the same. So you want it big enough to be able to see, but not so big that it takes up the frame. Okay, now my reaction video is longer than the footage itself, so I need to adjust that. So I go into timeline by clicking here, and you can just kind of play around with it. You can move your footage around, dragging, dropping it, pulling the ends to make it start and stop at different points. Just make sure that your footage starts at the beginning and ends at the same time. Okay, let's watch on the main screen so you can see it all big. done just say export right here video will start playing when it's all done and then just hit download and you're finished was I able to make it in yes the whole wall was a secret door for more techniques to unlock your creative potential hit subscribe